states at the expense of independent uh, countries and peoples of nations. Daniel, obviously they didn't want this exposed. And, and there's famous quotes, we'll put one on screen, of David Rockefeller uh, thanking mainstream media at a trilateral commission meeting that's minutes were made public in 2004. We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promise of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world. See, it's their plan, and we're not in it, folks. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the bright lights of publicity during those years. But the world is now much more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto determination practice in past centuries. Trilateral Commission meeting address 1991. Again, it didn't come out till the mid 2000s. But the whole point is these guys openly talk like this now. And, and my issue is any elite that wants Common Core taught where two plus two equals five is a very evil elite. I mean, they want us dumbed down. They want us in a neo-feudalistic area. And people need to know this is the big threat. So let me ask you this. I want you to comment on what I just said, and if you agree or disagree. But you said in 2007, 2006, we put in a film in 2007 that they would implode in, uh, in two years, uh, the housing market and all the rest of this, and that indeed happened. And you had that from your source. I mean, they want to hurt people. They want to make us poor. I think people need to realize that they 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 want us poor to control us. It's neo feudalism, correct? Absolutely. And you know, one of the actually one of the things I was I was uh, uh, jotting down as uh, as we we're uh, in the last break is something else which I know they're going to be talking about. Although I don't have it as a as a um, as an item uh, discussion item on the agenda is. You know, the derivatives bubble, the global derivatives bubble today is 20% bigger than it was just before the last uh, financial economic crash, which we suffered in 2008. And it's important because, as you said, you know, the whole thing of deindustrialization, zero growth, uh, demand destruction, you need to destroy demand uh, if you want to reduce the world's population. Progress and development is directly proportional to population density. So if we have progress, we have technological development, we can have more people. You need to have progress and development, especially the technology to support, you know, the 7 billion people we have on the planet today. If you don't have that, there's going to come a point where you're going to have a collapse and a breakdown in the population. And a great example of this deindustrialization today is Detroit. You know, this is what, you know, this is their uh, poster child for the entire world. So the fact is that a derivatives bubble today is bigger than it has ever been before and it could explode at any point i want to very quickly if we have about a minute to explain to people how this you know derivative bubble works and why it's being actually pushed by the elite to self-destruct yes sir please break it down we have an article up on infowars.com today uh, by okay. zero hedge breaking down that it's it's reached an all-time mega high since 2008 you know, once you make the decision to create a bubble, any bubble, basically it becomes a pyramid scheme. So you're going to uh, really de-link the financial games from the real economy, which you have to do if you're killing the real economy. But uh, you want to build up the speculative bubble, you have to you know, divorce it from reality and derivatives is a great way to do that. It's like creating a game casino table. And derivatives are side bets on the movements of various things like bonds, for example, the value of bonds, interest rates, currency rates. So uh, you speculate on these things and you can bet on how the speculation is going to go. So basically you pile derivatives on top of derivatives, on top of derivatives. And a good example of that is, of course, the mortgage market, which everyone is, is, is now very familiar with, uh, and which had mortgages, which were used you know, to back derivatives at least theoretically back them but the notion value of derivatives the dollar amount of the derivatives that were created were much more than the value of the mortgages so you use the mortgages as a fuel to fuel these derivative machines which then leveraged it we don't know how many times over and then uh, ultimately this whole thing blew up completely and you know this whole global system blew up you know, blow out with it. And that was back in 2007. And as you said, we've talked about this uh, at uh, in, in Ottawa when you were uh, working on your 
documentary when we met at the Bilderberg Conference in uh, in Canada, Ottawa in 2006. And needless to say, 2007, my words were prophetic. The whole thing just exploded. And needless to say, it's going to explode again because the idea is to destroy the world economy on purpose. And the people who think that that can be the case because needless to say, if they do that, the elite will suffer as well. They will not suffer. They already control the entire planet. What they need to do is reduce the world's population. And the way to do that is to reduce wealth, real wealth, okay, real economy. And that's how you, you know, that's why you would deindustrialize the economy. That's why you deindustrialize the world. That's where the terminology zero growth comes in. And if people are interested, you can Google the terminology zero growth, and you'll be surprised how often these words appear on the front pages of the world's leading periodicals. It's not there because somebody made a boo-boo. It's there because they want you to know subliminally that they're doing this on purpose. Well, that's right. And under Agenda 21 and so many other public statements under Cloward and Piven, you name it, they admit they want to make us poor so that only government controls through corporations uh, the jobs you can get. They call it privatization. It's really the, the, uh, the opposite. And then they can pick the winners and losers, and they are exempt from the regulations that they put on transportation, law enforcement, agriculture, uh, banking, manufacturing, construction, education, immigration, military. It's only a two-tiered system that allows all this to happen, and that's why they promote racial division in all this and, and political correctness is they need to divide all of us while they're busy really being the ultimate discriminatory group. Absolutely, Alex. That's, you know, that's, it's, uh, you explain it very well in, uh, in Endgame, very, very well. It's a, if you if people haven't uh, if you haven't seen the film, make sure you uh, you get a hands on copy of uh, of Alex's uh, film Endgame. It's an amazing film. I I think it's like three hours long. Is it not Alex or something? Yes, like sir. That? It's 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 really about three films in one. We just call yeah, it Endgame. It's yeah, it's it's a ma amazing compendium of, of 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 you know of exactly how this whole thing is being. Put together by whom you have some amazing, you know, documentary images and footage, and uh, I don't know where you got some of the uh, photographs and uh, and film footage, but boy, I tell yeah, we you, got it from you, and, and you did a great job. Well, there's some stuff there which you know I certainly didn't give you, but uh, oh, you know, some old footage from you know from the early part of the century, and uh, boy, an amazing film. You need to see it if you haven't seen it yet. Well, I tell you, Daniel, I don't know how you do it. Whenever we'll be there with a telephoto lens, and you'll go. That's that's such and such, that's such and such, and then it always turns out to be accurate. Um, how important is it the people that, that are going to be there who won't be on the list? Um, I, you know, I tell you that uh, since uh, you know, uh, my you know, Jim has done amazing work on on disc, on, uh, on uncovering you know uh, uh, Bilderberg uh, and their influence. But you know, since my book came out, the true story of the Bilderberg Group, which you know you sold, and, and thank you so much for promoting my book on your site and you know in in, in your shows. But uh, it's got to the point right now where hiding you know the existence of Bilderberg has become silly. It doesn't make any sense, which is one of the reasons, you know, they, they you know, they, they, they decided, the Bilderbergs decided to actually put up their own web page. They say, you know, if somebody's going to talk about us, we might as well do it ourselves. You know, they control the information. And most of it is fairly accurate. And most of the people who attend, are, you know, are there. And occasionally someone might not be on the list. But I'll tell you about, you know. For the exception of one or two people, most of them are on the list of the attendees. What is important is to understand, again, that this is real, that the people who, who are there are important. Although, again, Bilderberg is, is not the you know, apex of any pyramid. You know, it's more of a conveyor belt. The real decision-making is done at even higher levels than Bilderberg or trilateral commission meetings, you know, Council of Foreign Relations. But it's an important element of the Sure, it's a major program. coordinating operation, as you said, conveyor belting all the groups. And, in fact, we've confirmed that some of the Bilderberg steering meetings will be held privately right after the official trilateral meeting. So as you said, they kind of nest together. I, th I think you use the term Russian dolls. Exactly. I mean, you're talking about matryoshkas, obviously. You know, but the point is, you know, it's uh, uh, Bilderberg has, uh, they've, you know, they've always enjoyed, uh, you know, their secrecy or their privacy, you know, but uh, uh, it's gotten to the point where, you know, they, they can't hide any longer. But it's important to understand, again, a bit of a background that Bilderberg today is, 
a bit less important than it was 40, 50 years ago, just because of the people who attend. Yeah, again, you cannot compare the initial original Bilderberg attendees from you know 1950s and 1960s. These are the people you know who were born before the uh, you know the the end of the 19th century, who went for the First World War, you know, went through the Second World War. A lot of them were self-made you know men, and you know they built empires uh, out of nothing, such as you talk about the Rockefellers, for example. And so these people, you know, they were steeped in, in you know you know world politics at a level which today simply is just not feasible. And uh, But, you know, it was a very important element of the oligarchical structures of the Cold War period. And it was important because what it meant was that it was a vehicle, Bilderberg meetings, through which private financier or oligarchical interests were able to impose their policies on what is nominally sovereign governments. Now, what is interesting about the origins of Bilderberg is that uh, the biggest scandal part of it was that it was heavily, very heavily populated by people who come out of the World War II Nazi apparatus. That's right. Who were basically cleaned up and dusted off. But, you know, people such as uh, Prince Bernard, who was, you know, the face. And who had giant hidden troves of the robbed loot of Europe. I want to ask you about that, because you've written extensively about that, about all the art and the gold. I mean, just tens of trillions in today's dollars or euros. Final segment with Daniel Esselin. We've got several special reports that are going to be on the nightly news tonight. Looking back at Bilderberg, looking forward, new intel being broken right now at Infowars.com by Paul Watson and our reporters. We'll be right back. The official list is now on Infowars.com. Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients. It's the best tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844 Try Life or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844trylife.com. 844 trylifecom Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. I'm going to do five minutes of overdrive after Daniel leaves us here in about six minutes. And I'm just going to play a compilation. A video we'll also post on Infowars.com titled uh, Bilderberg 
picked Obama or Bilderberg made Obama. What did I say the headline should be? It was, it was, it was really good. Uh, how, how Bilderberg made Obama. Something like that. Uh, it's five minutes long. It'll fit in the segment just perfectly. We'll have a bunch of stuff like this looking back in the years past and then forward with breaking stuff from Watson tonight, 7 o'clock Central.